It's your boy Chips Ahoy and welcome back guys to another episode here on the Mega Co-op Profile. We've just recently grinded all the way to a Hyperion and now we have another challenge in front of us. Our goal is to get all nine of us on the island to farming level 60. Since we have so many people, the most efficient way to do that will be by creating a max melon minion setup. The only issue is that currently we only have the starter five minion slots. If we check in crafted minions, there is literally nothing completed. That leaves quite a bit of work ahead of us. We need to go ahead and unlock minion crafts to tier those new minions up and unlock slots. Then at about 20 25 slots we'll need to drop a pretty big sum of money on that max minion setup we're going for tier 12 minions with hyper catalysts fly swatters of course that's an expensive setup but we do have that hyperion that we all grinded up together so this should be able to fund a lot of this project let's uh let's head to the hub and sell it i'm thinking about 1.1 bill should be good for 1.135 billion coins let's let her free Boom. But now that that guy's up there, let's quickly head into the community shop. There's a couple free minion slot upgrades you can get over here. So let's go ahead and start that guy. The first one will last one day. And now it is just a matter of grinding. So we can head out into the world. I think I'm going to go ahead and first visit the forest. Start unlocking those tier one minions. Oh. Yeah, that's smart. I could probably do mining. That works. Probably do farming. Can we buy out materials from Bazaar? Yep, yep, yep. There's a... Uh... Still some money in the bank. I think there's like 20 mil there. Now, as this is a mega co-op, the process should go pretty quickly here. Over the next few days, we'll have even more people hop on and help out. Let's go. Add kicking us off with some beautiful cobblestone minion upgrades. As for my grind, there's the birch minion recipe unlocked. Also got spruce, dark oak, jungle. Let's go. And with that, we have unlocked every single tier one wood minion. So we can really just craft up a ton of wooden axes and then combine them with the different woods to craft our minions. Then we will advance to some enchanted birch wood for tiers 5, 6, 10, and 11. Let's start running it up with the other types of wood now. This tier 4 jungle minion gives us our 8th minion slot. And this tier 2 akasha minion gives us our ninth minion slot. We're already at 10 slots. Let's go. I've got six tier 11 wood minions. <laughs> nice. Kept it going with gravel and spiders. Beautiful. There's our gold minion, Abby minion as well. I think we're already at 16 minion slots. There is 18 melons popping off. New zone discovered and collection unlocked. Let's grab that endstone minion. And there is our enderman minion. Melon, let's go. That was our 20th minion slot. My boy's crazy. Just casually out out here grinding to unlock the next island i think i need combat level 24 or so and i run into greg here my man gregory with the beautiful sweet booty cloak yes sir go ahead and grab it on the bad lion shop but combat 24 here we come huge puffin getting those crystal hollows gg indeed let's go this is huge i can just go ahead click right here claim up a billion coins so i gave about half of the money from the hype to the co-op to start buying items for our minions while i took the time to grind a few revs and finally here we are we can claim our tier 3 boss which gives us this beautiful revenant minion check this guy out now while we're here we might as well go ahead and upgrade him so let's go ahead and throw in the goods there to get rev minion 2 and this is that guy all the way up to level 6 now Edmonium went ahead and unlocked the Terra minion for us. He just takes some Terra web as well as spider minions. One more minion that we can unlock ourselves is going to be the snow minion. Perfect. And that's him all the way to 11. Now with this lapis minion, we can go ahead and unlock our 21st minion slot plus we can actually head back to the hub and walk into the community center to claim that minion slot we started yesterday and start the next upgrade anyway we're now up to a minion limit of 22 which is not bad for 24 hours of grinding but as i said earlier i gave some other people some money to start spending 
and we've got a handful of melon minions already at tier 11. This is actually only 21 of them, so we can go ahead and craft that 21st that we just unlocked. And of course, we are going to get all these guys to tier 12 as well before we end up placing them. Before we get to that though, let's try and unlock one more minion slot. Crimson Isle discovered. First up, the Mycelium minion. Then we can also grab the Glowstone and Magma Cube minions. So let's start crafting and tearing them up. Six and seven. We should be able to unlock our 24th minion slot. 24 minion slots and we've got 24 tier 12 melon minions ready to go. So now we just have to build the area for these melon minions. And as I'm actually doing this, I want to go ahead and shout out the rest of the co-op. You guys only really saw my perspective of that early grind, but they were all grinding too and using pretty smart strats as well. Like we went ahead and went to Bal in order to get the blaze rod recipe. We also got the quartz minion from the goblin hideout, which was genius. And the ice minion from using the ice rod ability. And okay, I think we are are good to go. Wow, this looks dope. So let's go ahead and grab these melon minions and let's start tossing them down. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, all the way to 24 out of 24. Look at these guys go. Now we just have to dump a ton of money into them to really power them up. So let's go ahead and put in a buy order for 24 super compactors. Then we're going to go for some large storages. 24 for 8.5 mil. Let's throw those guys down. And then Admonium went ahead and got Spider Slayer 6. So he's throwing fly catchers in all of these as well. Next up is the fuel, of course. And we're going to want the best there is. So we'll grab a Hyper Catalyst. And I'll just go ahead and put a buy order in for a thousand of them. And then, of course, we're also grabbing a beacon for the extra increase in productivity. So we're going to need some power crystals as well. I'll go ahead and buy maybe a stack of those guys. So the minions are running pretty well right now. There are still a few things we could add to them. Like we need someone to get HTM5 to actually place that beacon. We also need to up our pumpkin collection for this farm crystal that'll increase them by 10%. But in the meantime, we've moved on and began building all of the farms. Because as I'm sure you know, you need to get a gold medal in every single contest in order to increase your level cap and actually get level 60. We already had Coco from our last last series and Lotzi has gone ahead and built wheat and potato so we're moving on and right now we are working on the pumpkin farm we do have carrot and sugarcane down below as well and just like that we have teleported into the future where we can claim that final minion slot upgrade wait there's actually one more why not go for it we also have 160 more hyper catalysts to claim from the bazaar which is good because our minions over here are just eating these things up guys guys follow me you see this guy right here this beautiful mayor gives us the perfect more skills we get 50% more XP so those minions we threw down a couple months ago think it's time to collect we're gonna take turns throughout the co-op so we all get absolute maximum XP possible now we've all prepared for this moment we went on a spending spree recently and bought a bunch of level 100 rabbits to get that farming XP boost we also all bought some cookies to get that XP boost we're gonna make sure we all have God potions and we're gonna hold on to a tier 3 hoe for the cultivating 9% now look at these guys Look at these guys. They've been grinding, grinding, grinding for us for so long, and it's time for it all to pay off. I am currently farming 37. I'm hoping to get as close as possible to farming 50 from just this one collection. Just going to make sure I have the hoe in my hand, and I'm going to go ahead and hit collect all. We'll go for our second minion here, and we'll get our first level up. Boom. Farming 39. Here we go for another one. That just gave us a taming level. And we've got 20 something of these guys, so we're just going to start going a little quicker. But that right there is farming level 40. Boom. Farming 41. There's 42. 43. 44. And 45. Now we're making our way down and we're on the third level of minions here. So there's farming 46. As we get lower, it takes longer and longer to level up because there's more and more XP that is required. 
but this is 47 and now we're on our bottom level for just a little bit more collecting to get 48 now there are 26 minions here and i think i got them all from level 37 or 38 to level 48 it's good xp but it's not quite farming level 60 so we'll have to leave those boys up but let's hit the hub and trade off the sugarcane hoe to i guess poffin so that he can hit the island with his rabbit pet and other buffs to get all that farming xp for himself i jumped from 36 to 47 okay for farming nice Dom? i got 28.75 million farming xp from that that's not bad 99 percent through farming 49 so i'm almost oh, 50 you're one percent oh. off wow Okay, this pet already must have had a lot of XP, since it's at 213 million XP now. <laughs> Eight, nine, and there it is. Farming 50. GG. Didn't even take, like, uh, half a layer. Not only the XP from our minions is insane, but guys, we got over a dub of enchanted melon blocks, about a dub and our extra row, which literally put our personal melon collection to over 100 million. Anyway, I think it is time to take a break after we get everybody their XP from this round of Derpy minions. The next clip in this video might be in a few months when Derpy comes again. And exactly as I thought, we jumped from August to December. Derpy is upon us once again. We're gonna have to sell some melons so we can buy cookies. Then we'll buy god pots. And we'll throw in a chest all neat for the rest of the co-op. But hey, it's time to claim. I'm gonna go to the hub just so you can pass the hoe to everyone. Yeah, I will. And tell people in chat too. We're all in the hub together. Perfect. I am collecting. Boom. Farming 49. It's four down. Over three stacks in most of these. Last four. Oh no. Where's my XP at? <laughs> Already 25 mil overflow. Alrighty. That should be everything. Alright, I'm gonna come to the hub. 27 mil over 50. Alrighty. Ho. Rabbit. Go crazy. 31 mil. Nice. Looks like we'll need one more event maybe then. Fast forward another few months and everything for farming has changed. There was no way to know this back in like May of 2022 when this video started. But here we are in April of 2023 and there is a garden. There are tons of specialized garden farming boosts. And gold medals are almost impossible. Mayor Derp is yet again about to be voted in but before he gets here we have a few days with mayor finnegan finnegan gives us the best and only chance at getting gold medals because his top perk is supposed to make it a lot easier so i went out and tried to get some gold medals i competed in a coco contest and quickly realized gold was out of the picture this here is an older coco contest where gold was 320k now even with the finnegan boost top 15 percent a gold medal is double that i'm really trying to keep the garden ready for a future series here so i didn't want to dive in for this video and i was determined to get some golds on my main island so finally after borrowing a really really good fermento set a melon gold seemed reasonable but i ended up just missing off luckily though a few contests later i killed it in wheat 15 seconds we did it since then i've tried sugarcane i've tried pumpkin i tried cactus melon again and carrots and i wasn't successful in any of them plus i don't think it'll be possible anymore seeing as finnegan is still the mayor but i think contests are glitched and they are back to only being the top five percent anyway let's claim some of these other prizes including that wheat gold medal then we can run upstairs to anita and grab the plus one farming level cap to hit farming 51 although we're not going to hit actual level 60 we can still hit the farming xp required for level 60 as derpy is being elected in just three hours and here we are we need about 30 mil from these guys with derby elected so i'm just gonna start claiming up and taking these enchanted melon blocks out we've got almost three stacks in each minion and there are 28 of them actually so that number has grown over the few months as i do collect i'm gonna start selling them to the npc i've been selling the melons along the way but this final sell is gonna give us a pretty nice overflow cash there's the top two layers collected third layer down and check that out taming 50 on this fourth layer maxed it up that's pretty cool final four minions are upon us and here we go with the last collections of the day checking the farming skill we made it to 59 almost 60 million overflow xp that's past level 51 so definitely secures the level 60 that we wanted hopefully the rest of the profile can get enough as well let's hit the hub and pass this hoe off to dom so he can hit the island and get his overflow xp yeah i got there let's go 32.7 mil from that what about playtime? i'm under 150 hours 160 and 41 minutes insane xp per hour right there you've reached I... the daily limit of coins you can reach from the npc melons making bank here 
But there you have it, everybody on the profile hitting farming 50 plus 60-ish overflow XP and getting enough XP for farming 60. Again, I didn't want to use the garden today because I wanted to keep it for another series, potentially a garden to Hyperion series with this mega co-op. I've talked to the crew and they said 2,000 likes and they will be down, so hit that like button. Also, be sure to go ahead and use code SWEET, S-W-E-E-T, in the Hypixel store, and of course, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, here are some screenshots that co-op members took and provided along the year journey this video took other than that i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one adios and goodbye